Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Jill Martin, thank you so much for connecting with the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. What's up? I want, I want my audience to know first that you're an Emmy Award winning television personality, a lifestyle correspondent, and a fashion expert and an author. Can you have more titles, Jill? <laughs> you know, I have one more that I'm very proud of that I'll actually, it's not even a bragging one, it's a cool one. I won the Guinness Book World Record for building the world's largest shoe. No. Now, that's really cool. I know. It's like my street cred title. Okay. So if I go to Guinness, I can, I can look, look up your record? If you Google Jill Martin and largest shoe, it'll come up. It's a riot. It's seven feet by seven feet. It was my largest I, feet. But I'm bummed. Well, I will be Googling that. <laughs> but then we're gonna, I want to talk about, you know, how, you know, Halloween's coming up and yeah. how to plan for the most wicked Halloween season ever. You got any ideas for us? You know what? I always love ideas, but I particularly love ideas for Halloween because Halloween is that holiday that everybody, no matter your age, can take part in. It's fun. It's family. If you just even put a hat or a mask on or eat a piece of candy, you're involved. So there's a few different things here I wanted to tell you about. First about decor, a little bit about music, and then about efficient shopping. So the first is, I, I think that the at the core of your Halloween planning and shopping should be buying bulk candy. So there's something I've been telling everybody about called Box.com. It's sort of like Costco online. You go onto Box.com, and you could buy everything wholesale, everything in bulk. There's no annual membership fee. It comes right to your house, free shipping, and you buy what you need. You know, when you go to a lot of these huge stores, you're walking through the aisles, you buy the most random things. So for Halloween particularly, they have all the hottest candy. It comes right to your door. And then you have the bulk candy, which is where I start with you on my decorating skills. Okay, so we don't have to shop around, look for the best sale, and, you know, oh, honey, you go over there and get that one, and I'll get that one. We can buy it all at this one location? Yeah, this one location, it's everyday essentials. So you're really able to buy everything. And to me, life is about being super efficient. And, um, of course, you, you know, I'm all about getting the best deal as well, but really being efficient. So once the candy gets to your house and it comes in this but what do you do with it? So, of course, there's ways to display it for your, um, you want to be the hero, of course, when people come trick-or-treating. But in terms of decorating, I love the idea of taking old vases that you have in your closet, that you have in the kitchen, and filling them with candy. So whether it's open candy for design, you could fill it with, you know, one orange, one black, one jelly beans, one, and just different colors and putting them together. Or you just take different candies and put them in different jars and see how they line up. It really makes for a beautiful centerpiece. That's a great idea because, you, you know, we don't know once it goes out of vogue, you know, what do we do with the old vases? That's a great idea, Jill. That, that's so funny because my mom has so many vases. We actually went through her kitchen. I said, Mom, you could keep 10 vases. You have 150 vases. Like, what are you going to use them for? She's like, and now when I do this, she's like, well, I'll put candy in them. I said, you don't need 100 vases for candy. But it does make use out of things that you already have in your home, and I'm all about doing that. I like that because that's eco-friendly. Okay, so if you're thinking about having a party, which I'm kind of thinking about, give me some ideas so I can have a killer party. Well, the first thing is, so now you have your centerpieces, so you're good. There's um, a lot of companies out there, and you could just Google it, um, where you could pull it, put in like a skull sandwich maker, a skull mold. Easy things to make at home, but it becomes glamorous because you're making it within the theme of the party. So the food could actually be produced at home. I mean, I served the other night peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that were shaped as skulls, but they were shaped as skulls. And who doesn't love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I think people sometimes try to overdo and overthink things. 
Whereas sometimes it's the easiest things. You know, when you go to a party and there's an adult room in the kids' room, the adult room will always be in eating the pigs in the blanket and the mini hamburgers and the french fries <laughs> in the kids' room. So that's a way to really make your party great is to remember people love s'mores. People love hand chicken fingers and fries and things shaped as different things. And then also making a, a, a really amazing playlist. And there's plenty of things when you Google funky Halloween music, it'll come up. And you'll get Halloween music, but with a twist with current singers. Well, Jill, no wonder you are the hostess with the most. Uh. You gave me some great ideas. I hope my audience is as inspired as I am. Thank you. I want to thank you. Where would you send us on the web, though, where we could wrap this up? Um, Box.com is where to go for all the information I've been talking about. I love it when people bring new information. I hadn't heard of Box.com, so I kind of head over there, and I know my audience is feeling the same way. Aw. Well, thank you for having us, and thank you for hearing all my ideas. No problem, and I pulled you up on my monitor, and you are such a talent. You Miss Guinness World Book <laughs> record holder. I like that. Thanks, Jill Martin. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Happy Halloween. Have a great weekend. <laughs> the same to you.